Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and PaintballProps.com. Today I'm going to show you uh, the beginnings of my new uh, laser grid system for escape rooms and the like. I'm going to go through a quick hardware introduction and then we're going to go through uh, a test introduction with a small piece of software that I've written. Uh, the cool thing behind this laser uh, grid is that they're neat, uh, each sensor board, which can which handles four lasers, is neatly daisy chained together using USB cables. So it's very very easy to uh, to put together. Now let's look at uh, before we get started on a full demo. Let's talk about the uh, hardware pieces. Now because my uh, laboratory is not suited for uh, making an actual laser grid escape room, uh, I've used this 12 foot plank of wood to mount all of these sensor boards. I've got five sensor boards uh, daisy chained to a main control board uh, and this is one of the sensor boards. You can have one sensor board, you can have eight sensor boards, there are four sensors per sensor board for four lasers. So each sensor board can handle up to four lasers. There's one sensor, two sensors, three sensors, four sensors. And as you can see I'm using 1.5 meter uh, USB cables to daisy chain them. It's extremely easy to hook up. Each laser set comes with an adjustable mount, mounting hardware for the adjustable mount, a 9 to 3 volt regulator board, and a 9 volt AC to DC adapter that plugs in. You can also focus and defocus the laser by gently twisting the head of the laser. As you can see it is on right now. I've got the laser focused up against the wall right now, but if I twist the head you can make the beam thicker but less focused, meaning that the light can't travel as far, but uh, it makes uh, it easier to line the lasers up. Now, coming in, uh, in February 2016, I'll have laser-specific swivel mirrors for these lasers and magnetic locks, which we'll talk about in just a minute. Now, this is where the real customization comes into play. This is the main control board. This is a siren. This is an RF transmitter. This is an LED button. Uh, timer board, it can be used to, uh, as a, literally as a, a countdown timer, it can be used as a point score. This is the uh, keypad matrix controller board, and this is a mountable 16-digit keypad matrix. Uh, you can even incorporate a RFID or Bluetooth into this module, uh, and this is again where the, all the customization comes in. If you tell me what you need, I can tell you what it'll cost, and uh, I can tell you if, if it's possible, and it likely is. For this demonstration, I'll also be using uh, an RF receiver external to the laser set and uh, a wireless transmitter key fob because the controller board, the main controller board, has an RF receiver and it can transmit. So you can communicate from outside of the main room uh, using both a transmitter and a receiver. What you want the receiver to do is completely up to you. I just want to give you the idea that uh, this is very much customizable towards your needs. Lastly, for this demonstration, I'll be using a set of computer speakers. You can use uh, whatever you want, but I can program in up to 40 seconds of audio sound bites to work uh, as you wish relative to the program of your customized laser grid set. I've written a test program to test all of the peripherals here, just to show you, uh, you know, how they all work. And uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to plug this in. I'm going to go through each of the functions. Uh, just, uh, just the basic functions of all of these different uh, pieces of hardware and uh, I might have to take a few different uh, takes to show you different areas of the, of the set but uh, hopefully you won't mind that. So I'm going to plug it in. It takes 9 to 12 volts DC on the main power board. As you can see the timer is just scrolling back and forth just to show you that the timer is working. How you want it to function is completely up to you and the LED button is blinking. So I'm going to hold it down and what you're going to do is you can, you can hear, listen very carefully, you'll hear the relay click. And it clicked on and off. And that relay, using this little terminal block back here, you can't see it, can control an electromagnetic lock. I will have electromagnetic locks in February, but you, are, you can purchase them elsewhere and use your own electromagnetic lock. This relay can handle quite a bit of power. So that's that. Next, I'm going to press this button and the loud siren is going to go off. The loud siren plugs in right here. Sorry. I have to hold it down until it stops blinking. Just to show you the capability of the loud siren. Next, uh, we're going to test the audio bytes. Now, it's going to play a whole bunch of different audio bytes that I've programmed in. You can choose your own audio bytes based on how you want your laser grid to perform. So, 
Uh, I've just these are a ton of sound bites side by side, just as an audio test. Breach by one minute delayed. Detected. Disabled. Enabled. Intruder. Lock deactivation measures. Reactivated. Security measures. Have a nice day. Lockdown deactivated. Complete lockdown in effect. Game over. Warning. Door unlocked. So those audio bytes, uh, not the best quality, some of them, some of them were better than others, uh, using an English female's voice, a British female's voice. Um, again, I could program them and edit those sound bites to work exactly how you'd like for, for your system to work. Now, for this next, uh, for this next demonstration, uh, this RF transmitter, what it's going to do is it's going to uh, communicate with my receiver board. So I'm going to stop the video before I press this button again to show you that I can communicate with another board from across the room. This is my RF receiver, and this next test, when I press the green button, it will show me that the transmitter on the main controller board can communicate elsewhere in the building wirelessly if programmed to do so and connect, connected with a wireless transmitter. So I'll press, uh, I'll press the green button. I'm letting go now. The LED goes on and it'll turn off. And it'll turn on one more time in a minute and then turn off. And uh, next, the next test in this uh, program, once the LED starts blinking again, oh, it started blinking again, is to test the laser grid. So I've only got one laser set up, but we're going to test it and you're going to see how I've programmed it to respond. So I've got one laser uh, hitting the sensor from an angle right now. This is the last board in the daisy chain. Now keep in mind you can uh, purchase this set with one four sensor board or four or eight and the daisy chain together like that. It's so easy. It's so easy. No soldering, no nothing. Uh, in any case, so I'm going to press the green button again. Uh, I know it's, it's hard to see all of this because it's about 12 feet long, this specific project. There is a lot of slack on each of these uh, USB cables, which means you can make it, uh, you can make this uh, unit extremely long and, and far apart. Uh, let me just press the green button, pressing it, let go. So now what's going to happen is every time I breach that laser, it's going to say breach. And I've programmed it to do this five times. So I'm going to breach the laser. Breach. 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 And now the LED board is. Sorry, I'm gonna to try to. The LED board is flat, or the LED button is flashing again at the other end. This test um, includes the wireless receiver board that's connected to the main controller board, an external uh, transmitter key fob with with a adjustable antenna for longer range and a loud siren. So when I press this button right here, I press it down, it stops flashing, let go. I can press any button on the key fob for this test and uh, I'm even going to do it from way back here. The siren is going to turn on for a very short period of time and then turn off. Now remember, this is just a functional test. Pressing the button. This last test is just going to show uh, the functionality of um, this keypad setup. There are three signals going from this controller board to the, to the main board, a tamper, uh, an arm, and a disarm. And I'm just going to enter an, uh, uh, one of those codes that will turn the red LED off and the green LED on. And that's one, two, five, one, star, star. It's just to show you that it can easily communicate with the controller board. And uh, yeah, so that's it. Uh, this is just the first of many videos to come. Think electromagnetic locks for safes, for doors. Uh, think about custom audio bytes that you'd uh, you'd like to have programmed. What capabilities do you want? Would you like RFID or Bluetooth? I can make that happen. Just uh, send me a message through paintballprops.com or engineeringshop.com. Uh, I hope to hear from you if you uh, are interested in, and you own an escape room or something of the, something similar to that. So yeah, this is just one of many videos. Thanks for watching. I realize the my setup's a little ragtag, but just to give you an idea of how simplistic it is. Thanks for watching, everyone.